How did I get started tattooing? Um, when I was 13, my mom opened up the Kind Soul Tattoo in Globe, Arizona. I just decided it was awesome from watching them do it constantly, and then I snuck in there one day with me and my friend and set up the station like I watched them do, and then next thing you know, it was more or less uh, just tattoo anybody I could for any amount of money that I could get, and that's where it all started. It was a down, downward spiral to an upward career after that. Oh yeah. I went into a tattoo shop and got a really bad tattoo. And uh, it's on my arm. It's kind of scarred up and raised. Uh, but yeah, I just had an overall bad experience. And he overcharged me. So it was just not uh, all around bad. My experience in tattooing, I've been tattooing since I'm 13. I am 29 years old today. So that long. March 23rd, I'd be doing this for nine years. My name is Jennifer. I'm getting like partial sleeve or pretty much a sleeve on my arm. I'm gonna do like a poppy, a little mandala, some lilacs and a hummingbird. And really honestly, none of them were that really painful. Um, I did get these stars on my foot before and I guess that was the worst was the side. Uh, it made my leg twitch really bad. That was the worst part. I think. I'm influenced by a lot of artists. Like I, I follow a lot of people from like um, Russia, Spain, I mainly follow like, artists that do a lot of realism and they actually paint and do stuff, you know, uh, other than just tattooing. Brandon Bond was an amazing tattooer. Uh, the styles that he pushed off, he did a, a little training video on the whole enchilada, which he does actually lay out a lot of it. And uh, just him, really. Paul Booth was a big influence too, his darker art. And uh, it's terrible to say, but like Kat Von D and her really soft style is pretty awesome. Always spell check. A1 is a tattoo artist. Uh, the second number one thing that I have learned is um, work with people, really. You can't be an asshole in the industry. You have to work with people. Um, that's really probably the biggest one. Spell check's one of the biggest ones that I learned. I learned that twice. I've misspelled two tattoos in my whole career. I'm not afraid to admit that, but uh, it makes for a better tattoo artist in the end because you know what not to do. Now we always have the client which would be you in this case, um, sign off on all the lettering. So if you're getting a lettering tattoo, we'll even customize it, draw it up for you. But when we're done, we show you, you have to agree on it. That is very important. Clean lines, smooth shading. Uh, we offer a lot of topical numbing cream to get you through your tattoo. Every artist at All About It does that. Being in a good chill environment, being nice and relaxed while you get your tattoo is A1 for us. That's really what we bring to the table. Um, as far as customer service goes too, we are striving to be one of the best that we can with customer service too because a lot of our work is re-returning clients, people that keep coming back and that's how we stay busy. So, but yeah, I guess you would say what I, what I have done and what I am still doing is just practicing. That's how you, you increase in your career. I've been tattooing for 13 years and I'm still not anywhere where I want to be or anywhere close to where I want to be.